Hey everybody, it's Renee Yvonne, the creator and founder of Renew with Renee. If you don't know, I primarily work with women and some men that I've gone through, are going through, or intend on going through a tough divorce and breakup. They're seeking to move on in their lives in alignment with God's will and purpose, and they want to become better and not bitter. Today I'm going to discuss with you the ways to not curve after you've been curved by somebody that you're interested in after going through a failed relationship. I decided I wanted to do this video because deciding to hop back into the dating field after going through a tough divorce and breakup can really take a blow to your esteem and you're already processing a lot of things internally so I want to provide some sort of inspiration and a, a positive outlook for you so that you can move forward and hop back into the dating scene in no time flat. So the first way to not curve after being curved is to realize that the person that's curving you is actually doing you a huge favor. We operate off of God's purpose for our life and he knows the desire of our hearts. So you have to trust that this person that's curving you is not in alignment with that purpose and they're actually doing you a favor for later on in the future. They're saving you time, they're saving you energy, they're saving you frustration. So know that if this person is curving you, there's more mature ways to handle the situation. There's better ways to communicate if they are curving you. They're not sending you the proper signals of interest back. Just trust it, don't try to fight it, and continue to press forward. The second way to not curve after you've been curved is to realize that after one door closes, remember another one opens. So a positive outlook to this situation is that if somebody's not sending for you, they're not vibing with you or gelling with you the way that you hoped and anticipated, just realize that if this door is closing, that one is opening up soon. It's just all about divine timing in most cases and we have to pray for patience. The third way to not curve after being curved is to not hop into a rebound relationship. I understand when you're dating, you can be courting several people at the same time time however if you get out of a relationship or somebody has, has recently curved you that you really were interested in it's always good to take some time out to really try to understand what has happened and so take some time out and really understand what's going on before hopping into another relationship the fourth way to not curve after being being curved is to stay positive and this includes everything that we involve ourselves in on a daily basis if you're in tune with my renew with renee page i talk a lot about um, feeding your mind feeding your body your soul in positivity so it could be anything from working out it could be anything from reading a good book of course, the Bible is always a great choice, but if not, it can be a book by my favorite T.D. Jakes. It can be anybody that's positive, even Renew with Renee messages on Instagram and social media all over. So stay positive, hang around positive people, do positive things. And the fifth way to not curve after being curved is to not take it personal. And this is a really tough one because like I said, when you get out of a relationship, it can take a real huge hit to your esteem. And so we spend a lot of time, and I feel actually a lot of people don't spend enough time building their esteem back up before hopping into another relationship because they feel broken down from the existing relationship. But take some time out to really um, embrace yourself, to really get to know yourself, and to realize that just because somebody's curving you doesn't necessarily mean that it's because there's something wrong with you. They could be going through something in their life, they could just not be into you in that way, and unfortunately this is um, a means of them going about it, which it could be better, of course. Um, timing is divine. They might not be a good time in their life, but there's several factors to consider um, in this person's life as to the reason why the curving occurred in the first place. Just don't take it personal. It doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. It just means that your relationship with that person isn't destined to go to the next level. Well, I hope that this information was useful for you. Click the like button, share this message with your friends, tag them below if somebody that you know needs to hear this message. With Renew with Renee, you can recover a lost time, you can rebuild your life, and you can rejuvenate your destiny. Thank you so much for watching. Be blessed.